In this video, we're going to be teaching our very own AI to play Trackmania. So far, we've been getting pretty good results on a flat track that hasn't been played by that many people. It is time to spice up the challenge and put our AI up against one of the game's most prestigious tracks, Hocolicious. Some community members have voiced their expectation that we would be far from world record levels of performance based on the map's difficult layout. Stay with us to see just how much we've exceeded these expectations. We'll be training the AI from scratch, meaning that it has to learn not just the map, but also the game, having never seen a racing game or even a car before. The AI will learn through repeated interactions with the game by a process of trial and error over a few thousand races. To help it progress along the way, we provide it with rewards or punishments depending on how each race went. The AI then tries to maximize its reward. To do so, a neural network tries to predict how much reward will be received depending on the action that is played. What we call training is making sure these predictions are accurate. All this is based on grayscale screenshots scaled down to low resolution and low refresh rates as well as a few information extracted from the game engine. Let's take an example. In this situation, the AI must choose between going to the left, forward or to the right. It tries to estimate the amount of reward that will be received in these three situations. The AI predicts that it will hit a wall and receive a punishment if it goes to the left. Going straight forward gives a low reward and the AI predicts that going to the right yields the highest payout. So, the AI chooses to turn to the right. In reality, we let the AI choose its action within a set of 12 different combinations of key presses. This technique is called value-based reinforcement learning. The AI has already started training. Let's have a look at how it's doing. We could judge its progress by looking at its racing time, but it isn't able to finish a race yet, so we can't do that. Instead, we'll be looking at the rewards the AI thinks it is going to receive. We show it on screen with this bar. At the moment, the value is low because the AI doesn't know what it's doing. We can also look at all the different key combinations the AI can play with. These boxes are filled higher if the AI thinks this combination is better than the others. When we train the AI, it will get much better at estimating the values in these boxes. After 20 minutes, the AI faces its first hurdle. The car must jump over a barrier to be able to continue the race. If it doesn't, it gets stuck with no hope of recovering. At this point, the AI has learned to follow the racetrack, but it doesn't know how to drive fast enough to make the jump. It is going to stay stuck here for a moment. The AI has finally learned to make the jump. It will now face its second challenge. The track has a section of road that is elevated but doesn't have any walls. If the AI makes a mistake while navigating this section, it falls and can never recover. When this is done, the AI will face its third challenge. Some idiot put pillars right in the middle of the road. Up until now, a good strategy had been to stay away from the walls, but this doesn't work anymore. We're approaching the finish, but once again the AI will face an obstacle that a human would not even notice. There is a small step on the road, which can only be passed if the car has sufficient speed. At this point, the AI is still learning to drive, exploring random moves, and it has little chance of going through. At 2 hours of training, the AI starts to finish the race pretty consistently. We can finally measure the AI's race time and plot it on a curve in the top left corner. 
we will see this curve progress as the AI learns to drift, take tighter lines, and optimize its trajectories. The medals on the right of the curve represent benchmarks against which we can compare the AI. Let's pause and take a moment to observe the lines the AI is taking after 8 hours of training. It is now capable of beating both the game's gold medal and we, the authors of the video. The lines taken by the AI are safe, but indecisive, as the car wiggles a lot. This indecisiveness is reflected in the top right of the screen, where the AI's estimation of future rewards appears very uncertain. We resume training and the car's race time progresses rapidly. Let's pause again as the AI has beaten the map's author time. While the lines taken by the car feel natural, it is worth noting that a veteran with years of experience in the game would struggle to reach this level, even with hours of practice on the map. At this point we believe we've already exceeded expectations, even though training is far from complete. How much further will the AI progress? The next significant milestone is Frostbule's world record, which was set in 2009 and is beaten in 40 hours. Our final achievement is beating Carl Jr.'s world record from 2012 in under 70 hours of training. Training converged just a few tenths away from the current world record. We're eager to finally show you the result. Here is the AI's best run. Notice in the top right corner that the AI is now much more confident in its estimation of the rewards to come. We have not clearly explained how the agent's reward is defined. It is the total distance that will be traveled by the car in the next 7 seconds. Knowing this can help you interpret why the value bar sometimes decreases even though the car's speed is increasing. It is because the AI is planning ahead, it knows it will have to slow down. To conclude this video, we have downloaded the replays where humans were able to set the same time as our AI. Let's see where their lines differ. Among all players that have tried the map in the 15 years since the game was released, only 23 ever uploaded a time better than our AIs. We will continue exploring algorithmic improvements to make this AI even stronger. Maybe it would help if we could play at more than 20 frames per second? This is the end of the video. We're very pleased with this achievement. Now, what are the challenges you would like to see this AI take on next? Thank you for watching and see you for the next video.